Are you an Asian opening Pokemon cards? Huh? Am I opening up Asian cards? I am opening up a Japanese card right now. All right, quick screenshot. Gotta move everything out of the way again. Nah, it's okay. We just leave that there. It's Belly Bolt. Everybody loves Belly Bolt. What's good, Twitch? What's good, YouTube? All right. Welcome in, chat. We are opening an entire box of Shiny Treasure EX. Like I said, this is my favorite Japanese set in the Scarlet and Violet era. So we did one last week, so let's follow through with a second one. These are relatively cheap to find now. You can find them for as low as $30 if you purchase it in Japan. The only issue is that you need um, like a proxy service to ship you the box. Otherwise, you're gonna be paying a premium for the shipping. But if you live overseas anyways, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, as for us Americans, uh, the best option is to like buy it online and just pay the premium. So roughly you're looking around like $40 for a box, which isn't too bad because back then I used to buy uh, shiny, not shiny, um, V-Star Universe, which is uh, the equivalent to Crown Zenith. And oh my God, that was so expensive back then, almost $100 for an entire box. That didn't work. Kind of wish I kept my nails. <laughs> Face blue smiling. I can't see emotes on this stream yo chat, unfortunately. No way Imar is actually watching on uh, YouTube instead of uh, on Twitch. All right, 10 packs. Chat, I'm going to need your help with this one because like I said, I'm not too familiar with Gen 9 and most of these cards are going to be from Gen 9. So I'm going to need your assistance to identify the Pokemon. But before we begin, let's take one quick look at the sets. I'm gonna go to sets and go to Japanese and then head over to Shiny Treasure. So the main ones we wanna take a look at are just the, the hits. Uh, we already did this in the first video. So yeah, we're looking for either the Charizard EX. We pulled the Iono, uh, the Mew EX would be nice. Gardevoir is my chase card. And then we have some trainer cards. We'll probably pull the penny knowing our luck. There's a Pikachu. There's a lot of shiny cards in this set. So trying to fill a whole collection of that would be nice. Last box, we pulled three shiny cards. So let's see how we do this time. Bro, I just pulled a red shiny ghastly. Awesome, dude. If you can get that with Astro Barrage, you are chilling. Let us open up the first pack. Modfish says, I think I spent $130 for the Japanese 151. Dude, it's crazy, right? You get 20 packs, but I think there's like less cards in each one, but at least you get one Master Ball. I still have yet to open up uh, the Japanese version of it. I think now that's relatively cheaper, I might consider doing it. Okay, let's see if I can name at least two cards. We got Odish, we got Abra. We got Pika Man. We got Palmit or Palmy. I don't, I still don't remember the, the difference between the two, but I just know that once you level it up, you get Revival Blessing, which is kind of insane. And that is our Reverse Hollow. And to, um, oh, what's that guy's name? Scorch something, the Scovillian. I don't know, I don't remember. And then this is the Reverse Hollow. It's like the, the different Reverse Hollow with the sparkly, sparkly glitter. Oh, and a Mute EX, okay. Four, four hollows at one pack for the Japanese from what it looks like. I think this is Tauros, can't really tell. Fire Tauros. And Flamigo. Okay, pretty cool. Let me move these to the side. Surprisingly enough, um, these cards, uh, the sparkly hollows are worth more than like <laughs> the reverse hollows or hollows from the set. Eventually, I want to um, complete a master set for this since it's relatively cheap. So if we're going to make this a weekly thing, I don't mind spending like $40 a week just to try to complete the set. And anytime we pull like duplicates of the same uh, cards, I'll consider like selling that and then trading it for like a card we don't have, but we'll see. We'll definitely see first. All right, pack number two. Matra says, never mind, I spent 160 on it. That's crazy, man. That's way too much. That's like uh that's like a booster box and a half. 
But most booster boxes nowadays are going for so much money. You can't even find a booster box that's like $100 anymore. Surprisingly, the Twilight Masquerade is still around $100, even though like the main chase card is the Greninja. Oh, Entei. Vaplum. Got a Shiny Gloom into... Who is that? Is that a Chiyu? Okay. Got a Cleffa. Some Trainers. Kilowattrel. No, that's not Kilowattrel. That's uh, the pre-evil. Wattrel, probably. From my knowledge, the shinies um, are worth quite a bit, so... There are a lot of shiny collectors in the hobby. Add that there. And then Chi Yu and Mew, I guess you guys can get a sleeve as well. Why did I keep the watch roll? <laughs> He's not even a hollow. <laughs> there was a reverse glitter hollow that I didn't take a look at. All right, pack number three. My boy, Gimme Ghoul, he said, make it rain. King Gambit, Rev Room. Oh, what's this guy's name again? I just call him the Dung Beetle into a Neuvern EX. Okay. Oh, there's a kilowatt roll. <laughs> Can we pull something good today, please? The last box we pulled, we, we got absolutely nothing out of it. Okay, we got Nackley. That's the boy right there. He kind of looks like um, Toad in a way from Mario. We got Self Destruct, Palmy or Palmet. Still don't remember the, the difference between the two. We got Slow Bro into a Shiny Charmeleon. And then we got Great Tusk EX. Oh, come on, how many times are we gonna pull his bundles, man? Stop giving me the dudes. I don't want this. <laughs> got a sharp Salizer, and that's it. God damn it. Of course they would give that to me, but the texture for it actually looks pretty cool. Or maybe that's just his shirt design. There's a bit of texture, but... Oh, okay. Whatever, just add it to the list, I guess. <laughs> And a Charmeleon, woo! Yeah, I call it Salizer. You get a top loader. All right, let's go. How many more do we got? Six? Come on, give me the Gardevoir. I beg. I don't ask for a lot here. Just give me the Gardevoir. You know, I was going to say, opening the, the Japanese packs are a lot easier than the English ones, but this one was disgusting. <laughs> I almost ripped all the cards. Okay, Fido. We got Vroom. I still don't know this guy's name. Or this guy. That's like thunderous or something. Oh, that's not Houndstone. It's the the pre-evolution. Oh, Gravehound or something. I don't know. It's freaking Iron Threads, dude, or Iron Treads. My boy, give me ghoul. I love that guy. All right, not out of that pack. I guess there's uh, 
always like guaranteed EX in every single pack, like a regular EX. This is probably like the equivalent to like a V card, right? If you guys are watching on YouTube, do me a favor and like the stream. I'm gonna be opening some cards for the remaining hour and then transition over to some rogue content. So I'm gonna be keeping a pack of Silver Tempest so that we can do our Poke Pack challenge. We got Charman, Hope It. We got uh <laughs> Wooper. Is this the this is not the Galarian one, right? This is the, the different form? It has to be Hisuian, maybe, I don't know. Is that Tinkaton? I think that is a Tinkaton. Oh, we got Reggie Salt into another Tauros. And then we have Tinglu. And that is it. Yeah, from what it looks like, always a guaranteed EX. Yo, take it easy, Chris. I shall see you later. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We got Doggo once again. Grave Doggo. Sprigatito. We got the Mouse Family, but it's just a two mouse. We have Serilage. Such a sick looking Pokemon. Veluza, I think. Natsu. Oh, into a Charizard EX this time. Okay, finally something different. And a Wugdrio. Not the Charizard we're looking for, but a Charizard nonetheless. There's um, there's a regular full art um, Charizard EX, and then there's one that's like a shiny version. Terrestrialize as well. Well, this one's technically terrestrialized. Okay, down to our last three packs. We pulled uh, a scissor last time, so it's nice to see that we can get a sight or two. We got Mimikyu. I know his name starts with an O, but screw me if I remember that. We got Pidgeot EX Shiny into a Reverse Hollow. Can I get something else? Nope. <laughs> that was our EX card. And a Mercury on the back. Yo, Falcon, what's going on? Good to see you. Hold on. I got a text massage. Pidgeot EX. For some reason, the the full art of the shinies don't go for as much as like the regular shiny cards. I wonder why. I pulled a Wigglytuff and it was worth like less than a dollar. I'm like, what? <laughs> Please don't tell me this is like the best hit that we pulled today. I beg. Give me something better. All right, down to our last two packs. Let's keep it going. We have Staryu, Riolu. We have Toxic. That is a uh, Houndstone. The Scissor once again. This guy carried us in our run. Another Staryu. Wait, huh? Staryu back to back. Look, one right here and one right here. Oh, this is the, the hollow one. You can tell. Oh, this isn't EX. This is just a regular EX. Yeah. We got Chin Pao. Regular EX. With the Glacial Lance. And that's it. Man. Please. Just a... It's a good hit. It's all I'm asking for. Down to the final pack, guys. Down to the last one. People weren't joking when they said the pull rate for this pack is so bad. The first one that we opened back at the convention, we got so lucky. We pulled the Charizard and the Iono, and we pulled a few shinies from that pack too. And now, like, our next two boxes, 
Dude, we're not pulling anything. Unless, this time, for the last pack, we can turn everything around. Weavile? Diddle? Please. Okay, we got Shiny Rabska, I think that's his name. And two Coridon. And that's it, guys. That's all we get from Shiny Treasures EX. Man. Another dud. We did pull some shinies, but I guess it's always guaranteed like what three shinies in every box. But even then, man, that's awful. That will be our pulls for uh, shiny treasures EX. Let's take a look and do a quick recap of what we got. Mm, this song's so good. Pulled a few ruinous mons, so. Jin Pao, Ting Lu. What else was there? <laughs> we got some Paradox mons as well. Just like bulk hauls. These are all our EXs. I don't even know why. Oh, we got Chiyu. Okay. Alright, from this, let's see what we got. All the EXs. We got Mew EX. We got Chiyu. Noivern. Great Tuss. Focus. We got Iron Treads. Come on, focus for me. We have. Ting Lu. We got Charman, Chin Pao, and Koridon. And as for our shinies, we only got three. Actually, no, we have this. Oh, wait, we have four. Sorry, four shinies. And then one trainer, dude. I'll put it aside for now. We got the Pidgeot, full art EX, shiny. We got Charmeleon, which I think is probably the most valuable card that we pulled today. And we got Gloom and Rabska. And then... Pulled this guy. <laughs> yep, that's everything we got. Yo, it's good, Noodle. We're just doing some gotcha. You know, the usual. I don't know how long we've been live for. Almost an entire hour, so... That is a lot of content just for opening up some cards. EX to the side. Put this over here. Alright. I think um, that is everything for what I'm going to be opening today. Aside from that, we can move on to our rogue challenge. Sorry, I bumped my camera with my head. 